Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a professor of psychology and this is your place for all things psychology and more. My expertise is in psychology, neuroscience and mental health with over 20 years experience. I'm from the UK and I'm a chartered psychologist accredited by the BPS and the APA. I welcome one and all to talk with a professor. This channel is your place for three things. Mental health, which includes psychology, neuroscience and psychological disorders. Financial freedom and wealth, which includes things like the FIRE movement, financial independence, retire early. and spirituality and lifelong learning where we discuss how spirituality, science and education can be combined to enrich our lives. Today I want to talk to you about mental health and the biopsychosocial approach. This is a way to understand what influences the possible causes of mental health conditions like depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder or schizophrenia. It's really important to emphasize here that we do not mean causes, it's possible causes, a way of explaining a different perspective to understand the mental health condition. We do not know the exact causes for mental health conditions, but research is ongoing and we are getting answers. The answers are coming from these three perspectives. The biological approach, psychological approach and the sociocultural approach to understanding psychological disorders. Let's look at each of these in turn. Biology. For example, there's a condition that could be called hereditary, meaning it gets passed down in families. Bipolar disorder actually has up to 80% genetic liability. Biology can contribute to the development of a disorder in that way. You can have genes to develop a particular disorder. Biology can also include brain dysfunction or dysregulation when there are abnormalities in, in, the, in the way a brain functions or its structure. It can also have problems in neurochemicals we find in the brain that we need to function. For example, dopamine is a neurotransmitter, it's a chemical that we find in the brain and it's involved in schizophrenia. Dopamine has many roles, including movement, learning, attention, also has a role in emotional processing. So we find abnormality in nearly all of those specific roles that I've mentioned in people with schizophrenia. Psychological approach to psychological disorders looks at influence on mental health that comprise of things like stress or trauma throughout the lifespan, or a learned pattern of thinking or behavior. For example, if nothing's going right in life, we have repeated bad news or disappointments. Someone with depression or major depressive disorder, as it's known clinically, may learn to be negative about everything that's going on in their life and have a pessimistic outlook. We call this learned helplessness. Perception and memory also part of this psychological approach and that can influence mental health conditions, looks at perception and memory. How do we interpret things? How do we interpret events, situations? That's perception. And how do we recall events that have taken place? That's the part of memory that I mentioned. That can also affect the onset of a mental health condition. Finally, the social cultural influences, such as roles and expectations that family, friends, culture, and the community at large can put on us, can have a negative influence. For instance, men should be the breadwinners and earn money, and women 
should be nurturing and have a primary role as caregivers. Well, these are really stereotypical roles and not very accurate today, but still are in place for many people. And when someone goes against the grain, goes against those specific roles, and does not conform to the social or cultural norms, then there's a lot of pressure for them. There's a lot of stress that comes with this non-conformity. And this could lead to a psychological health issue. Another interpretation or another interesting factor is our definitions of normality. What is normal and what is abnormal? This varies across cultures. For example, Native Americans have believed that powerful beings or spirits are present in all natural things. They're invisible, but everywhere. And now I find this really interesting, the cultural concept of a life force. Whereas in the West, that might be deemed as a visual hallucination. Somebody with schizophrenia might see some, something that's not there, a visual hallucination. So our definitions on normality and abnormality vary a lot. And our diagnosis of mental health conditions also need to take this cultural context into account. Now, if we combine all three of these, the perspectives that I mentioned, the biological, the psychological, and the sociocultural approach, we get the bio, psycho, social approach to psychological disorders. They influence and in interact to produce psychological disorders, not cause but influence. There is some interplay between the three. For instance, if two kids are from the same family sharing the same genes, they both have something that's called a genetic predisposition. They have the genes for a psychiatric illness, but only one might develop the disorder. Now, perhaps that one unfortunate person has other psychological factors. So we've got the bio and we add in a bit of the psychological and it could be stress from the environment, it could be a learned response, and that could be the difference. That could play a role in triggering the gene and that gene becoming active and then developing a psychological disorder. So this idea of the biopsychosocial approach needs to be looked at in terms of a dynamic, very interactive model. The three concepts are not separate they can be combined to contribute to the onset of a mental health condition. So if you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button, do share with others and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. We're often more capable than we give ourselves credit for placing mental barriers on what we believe to be our limits. This channel, I try and share with you some insights and understanding, allowing you to be freer, stronger versions of yourself. If you want to break your mental barriers and attempt to be a more fulfilled version of yourself, come and talk with a professor.